Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tommy with another StarCraft Remastered replay cast from the South Korean ladder. Very interesting engagement here in between the two pro players as we are spawning here in the upper left part in the purple. It is Flash with his AK and his opponent here in the lower right in the orange. It is Hian with his AK Mishinge from the EB clan. So quite a strong opponent finally here for Flash as we have a two spawning location map which is actually... Uh, blocked here with some minerals so very interesting uh, map here that i know from the ssl tournament quite intriguing and quite quite strong let's just have a look exactly what's going to happen here what the builders are going to be we do have of course in the upper left part the production tab here for both players and let's just see exactly how or if the builder is going to change given the fact that this is quite a tricky map here quite a very hard accessible map here as there's minerals blocking here the entrance left and right for both players actually we do have the casual uh, supply depot here for flash let's have a look at the uh, zerg he's still of course um, saving some money here for his uh, first expansion however there is a second overworld with two more drones here and actually we might see him do the trick to glitch his uh, drone here forward let's have a look if he's going to be successful indeed one drone is getting glitched here forward and i believe he's going to try to mine more here to open the gap from both sides so let's have a look how much mineral is being left here 40 minerals for him slowly but steadily dropping here lower and lower as i believe the zerg is going to finally take his first expansion point into this location so an interesting glitch here forward let's have a look it looks like flash wants to be doing the same is he going to try to go for a expansion here as well as he has his barracks up let's have a look exactly what his uh, scv is going to be doing but it looks like he's going to pretty much bypass this perhaps he's going to hide a building somewhere onto the map let's have a look once again into his main he's already mining gas the scv is slowly but steadily now pushing here forward towards the first expansion point as the zerg seems to be glitching more um, harvester here forward that we have the drone very soon he might try to take another expansion here so quite a greedy gameplay here by him no spawning pool no gas for him mass expansions here for high on as in comes the scv from flash but this way will be very likely soon de blocked by the zerg sees the hatchery sees the timing from the hatchery and now all of a sudden he is being blocked here is he going to try to mine this himself he might try to given the fact that it's only eight minerals here for him but he's just staying here to patrol. He might even try to place a bunker into his location. It would be, of course, a possibility. Sadly for him, he's still getting blocked here as this one Marine is just watching the minerals here. So yeah, quite a tricky uh, map we have here onto this. And finally, he did mine this mineral right here, opening up the space as he's now moving forward towards the expansion. Sees the timing from the extractor, sees the timing from the spawning pool. So pretty much thinks, of course, that it might be another expansion here into this location. Quite a greedy gameplay. Checks perhaps even clicks onto those minerals just to see if there was something uh, mined here or not. And he finally sees 24 has been mined. So he might think right now, okay, this might be a triple base Zerg, quite a deadly Zerg. And let's see what his reaction is going to be. Perhaps mass factories. No, it's actually double starport for him. So very interesting um, uh, build order here by flash very very rarely seen but given the fact that all the ways are blocked with minerals i believe this makes quite sense i believe he's going to go into mass race here so quite a interesting decision by him but i believe the overlord might have scouted this out or perhaps he on thinks of course that this could be a possibility he immediately reacting here with his hydras then so it's going to be a very likely hydras with overlords versus the incoming race from flash from the opponent two race already getting produced to Hydra's gear for the Zerg as well. So quite very rarely sight here. But given the fact, like I told you, the map pretty much forces here Flash to go perhaps into a different strategy. And still he has no expansion. It's quite perhaps a risky gameplay. This really has to work out for him. Either that or the Zerg will of course gain the upper hand with his economy, with his triple bases here as he's going into more and more workers. Both players currently at the same worker amount, but remember there's three bases for the Zerg versus one base only here for the for Flash. So his harassment with those rays really has to work out quite strong here as one Vulture is actually moving here forward. Perhaps being lucky to snipe one, even two, no, actually very, very close into sniping those um, drones. 
and he might be lucky here to finally take out one drone just needs to be careful not to lose the vulture in the end the drones will be able to take it out as in come the race so the race now could be able to have a easy sniping here the drones are hurt one is dropping the second one will drop as well so finally flash with some good pickups here might even go for the third drone there it is is he going to be able to spot it but with his skill perhaps yes indeed immediately taking it out and he might even be able to take out another one so now he's just pretty much patrolling the map he needs to be careful one race has been lost he's checking for the tier 2 upgrade but there's still only tier 1 for the zerg so having great map awareness great vision here with those rays having those vultures also nicely placed here another race is moving forward he did snipe three um drones onto the ground but he needs much 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 more as perhaps the zerg looks like he's going into another expansion right here so very largely economic orientated zerg gameplay as more and more rays are coming here forward check the main from flash once again he's going to buy all of a sudden so it's going into those barracks those rays are of course great for the map control they might be lucky to snipe an overlord or two but in the end it looks also very very good here for Hyan versus his opponent versus flash and flash still not having an expansion as we have passed the six minute mark so like i told you this race gameplay really has to work out for him as there we have the tier two upgrade for the uh, zerg and he might even go into some uh, scourges to fend off this attack he might even go into some mutilix but of course mutilix quite quite hard versus the race so it could be scourges here for the zerg either that or he might even try to go for some lurkers of course lurkers are very very strong in any case and he might even try to drop the lurkers with speed and overalls let's just see if this is exactly going to be his uh, strategy slowly but slowly we're closing towards the 10 minute mark so of course still in one game we do have quite a large amount of workers here for the zerg as flash sadly here for him he's not really making a difference here with his race and i believe now we might even go for some spores here for the zerg so making it even harder for flash to deal any damage and if you look at the worker count he's behind in two workers six more workers for his opponent versus the only one base uh, Terran as he's still just patrolling the map still perhaps going to try to be lucky to snipe one drone indeed very very fast but a spore also dealing some great amounts of damage versus the race and yeah very very hard game here for flash but in the end he was the one choosing this tactic and s is now very very successful here finally getting some great pickups three even almost four drones have been sniped here for him and in some good engagement and let's have a look what exactly his next steps are going to be what exactly his army composition is going to be perhaps he's going into more marines with medics and more mech for him as the race are still moving here out patrolling the map so slowly but slowly we turn towards the 10 minute mark quite an interesting game indeed we have here a much much better economy for the zerg versus his opponent as we do now finally see a move out by flash so we have a transition into bio more bios getting produced we even have a dropship now getting produced here for flash so the zerg sensing of course that something is coming towards his way preparing his defenses knowing that of course only a couple of rays can't possibly be the main army from the opponent as they finally in comes the push but the sunken should be pretty much ready on time so quite a great timing here for Hian, as lots and lots of marines will lose their life here but in the end the reinforcements are also pulling here forward at the same time the zerg tries of course to move here out but now i believe he's just going to transition into some lurkers and yeah with that the defense is looking really really strong for him as flash perhaps has to try something different there is that dropship for him let's see exactly what his plans are this expansion right here not that well defended he could of course engage into a drop he could even take his race with him and do massive amounts of damage was the first expansion point for the zerg let's have a look exactly he's just dropping the units above the mountains here so very nice game play by him as of course steam is being done let's have a look at the marines zero zero upgrades for him and just a zergling here for 
the Zerg at the same time is actually also moving out here but at the same time we do have the counter attack here for flash with a very very smart gameplay there's only one sunken here the marines are steaming up the sunken will of course stand no chance as the Zerg has to immediately retreat so very fast reaction here by the Zerg as he might take some damage all drones have been snapped immediately and this gap right here really working against the Zerg but he's very very smart he's actually going to serve cocoons and at the same time we do see the counter attack with flash nicely leaving this gap slowly opened as the Zerg will have of course a harder time to move here forward so it's quite a chaotic scene the tier 2 might get dropped the cocoons still hold and finally one is getting if the second one is getting cleared here as the Zerg is also moving here forward so quite chaotic scenes of damage onto both players as the lurkers are now moving forward straight towards the production tabs from Vrace, uh, sorry, from Flash. I see come the Vrace here for Flash at the same time. The Marines are moving here forward, going for the, the drones, going for the Hydra's gear. Great, great amounts of damage being taken here by the Zerg and also at the same time by the Zerg. But if you look at the worker, there is still so, so many workers being left here for the Zerg. Let's see if those lurkers will be able somehow to go for the SCVs here from Flash. And that can be quite, quite deadly. Now Flash has to somehow outmicro this. Those SCVs are clumped up together. They will take lots of amounts of splash damage right here. As the Brace are now being able to come back to defend the SCVs. But in the end, lots and lots of SCVs have been sniped. This is even going for the comp set. At the same time, we do have the attack here for Flash. Going straight towards the main here from the zerg so lots and lots of action happening here sadly here for flash he did lose his satellite and now he needs an urgent uh, science vessel in the air so finally with that he should be able to take out the um, lurkers from the opponent but if you look at the supply here flash with only 16 workers versus the 25 from the opponent the marines are still here but they do take damage now so in the end this will be cleared sadly for flash he wasn't able to snap this hatchery but hold on actually he could for so those hero marines were able to take out the hatchery at least that is a good move here for flash but if you ask me right now he's pretty much behind in workers 10 less workers and perhaps he has a better army than his opponent but yeah in the end the zerg looking really really strong he can of course rebuild the hatchery out right here he still has two bases one is bleeding so flash might be lucky to snipe it he might be lucky to snipe the spore right here as more and more workers are getting produced here for the zerg so quite an interesting game indeed we have here as in comes the attack is he going to be lucky to snap a couple of overrods? But no, in the end he has to retreat. And perhaps he has to rethink his um, uh, strategy. He's still not producing SCVs, interesting enough. So he's still going heavily into Marines with tanks actually now. Still patrolling the map here. Trying of course to be lucky to snipe a overlord or two. As he might be able to snap a couple of lurkers here. Or even the evolution chamber right here. So at least that... For flash and he might even go for the hatchery very soon so yeah let's have a look at the reaction from the zerg the hatchery pretty much exposed flash could stay here and snap or perhaps no he's just deciding to retweet knowing of course that overloads with high risk would be on their way to defend the hatchery so very very interesting game indeed three sunkers are still alive here lurkers are ready to defend so great counter against all of those marines onto the ground we do now however have tanks for the Aaron with uh, science vessel in the air as now we finally see more lurkers getting snapped by the um, race in the air so quite a chaotic scene and now we see a great spread with that flash might indicate to us that he's finished with the abusement with the race and he might go into more tanks and marines here there we have siege tank ability there we have the marines as flash seems to be slowly but steadily moving out but yeah he just needs to be careful against the lurkers so that's why exactly this science vessel is here in the front at the same time the lurk is also moving out here with lurkers with high risk let's see lurkers pretty much exposed the tanks might be in range of course with siege tank ability even being able to shoot once down as the race will now return here regrouping with the main army from flash so yeah with that flash might try to move here forward slowly but steadily but it's the double amount of workers here for the zerg so much much greater economy flash has to actually move out really really fast either that or the zerg is pretty much going to overwhelm him even going for another expansion right here so right now the zerg seems to be ahead but flash is slowly but steadily pushing here forward gaining more and more control of the map gaining more and more from momentum and the in comes the push here by flash as he's slowly but steadily unseaging and resieging at the same time we might have a counter attack here for the zerg with the overlord in the air 
but Flash is ready to respond to that with some Marines with some tanks on the ground. So he should be able to secure it. At the same time, he's also moving out here with his tanks brace in the air. There we have the counterattack by the Zerg, but those tanks, of course, very, very strong versus all of the units as the Zerg seems to be taking more and more damage. So he needs to be careful. Perhaps he needs to be more defensive here and wait for his reinforcements. He has invested really, really heavily into those expansions right here as he's trying, of course, to buy time or perhaps try to find a good position versus his opponent. He might even try to go for some Zerglings. Some Defilers would, of course, be great, but we still have only tier 2 upgrade for him. Yes, indeed, he's going for a flank from above, but the Brace will not see everything as they're even able to snipe the Overlord with the Lurker. And yeah, with that, the Zerg is still trying to buy time, but now he, that's a great flank. The tanks do have range here. They are able to take out one Lurker. And all of a sudden, the Zerg in a little bit of a bad location right here as he's getting pinned down by uh, Flash. So great move here indeed by Flash. Slowly but steadily, he is actually pushing here forward. One tank, however, now pretty much exposed. And there's a great reaction here by Flash as he's going for a defensive matrix onto his tank. So quite a nice sight here to see the defensive matrix getting used versus the lurkers versus the hydras onto the ground as the siege continues here slowly but steadily versus his opponent so we do have indeed lurkers with hydras versus the tanks here and we might see a great engagement here now once again a defensive matrix have been used lots and lots of damage is being taken left and right as even the overlords are moving here forward for the zerg and more and more damage is being taken left and right but in the end it looks like flash of course having more of a supply of an army versus the opponent the opponent having however a better economy as we might once again see a counter-attack this time it's just empty overlords as the siege continues here for flash so he's moving forward with his units the tanks might be in range of the sunken very very soon and this could be some really really bad news for the zerg as the siege tanks are now indeed in range and they're dealing more and more damage towards the important defensive sunken here for the opponent so this expansion seems to be pretty much exposed as Zerg tries to counter if we'll be finally able to snipe three important brace here but the tanks in the back are of course the real damage dealers here for Flash as he's moving forward with them slowly but steadily on sieging and re-sieging and dealing more and more damage towards the hatchery the other hatchery not really producing so so many workers not really hatching any workers and with that this one expansion point right here is pretty much going to be able to be taken out so finally, good move out here by Flash, but economic-wise, still the Zerg is ahead, but does he have enough on army versus the opponent? He has massive amounts of Hydralisk with Lurkers, but the tanks are just slowly but steadily pushing here forward, just precisely sniping one unit after the other, and sadly here for the Zerg, is not really able to deal anything against that, given the fact that Flash has his bio in the front, and the tanks in the back are nicely protected by the Marines, and of course the great vision here boy, by the the science vessel one might get taken out but no still flash with a great micro finally one science vessel is being taken out the second science vessel really really important as now reserve pretty much throwing everything he has towards the units from flash but now we want once again have that important defensive matrix here for flash and with that lots and lots of zerg units have been sniped all of a sudden the zerg dropping below 15 of a supply and lots of that supply is actually workers here and with that flash might have done it here indeed but what a great comeback here by him what has started as a very abusive gameplay here has turned out to be a very very good game by flash in the end only with one base here only with 15 workers somehow he was able to come back into this game sadly here for the zerg he really invested very very hard into his expansions into his economy and with that 30 amount of his supply was actually drones and the tanks very very nicely guarded here by flash with his marines giving him the advantage of this crazy crazy game quite a risky gameplay here indeed by flash with his race early on not really making a difference but in the end he came back given the fact that his opponent was very very greedy great great game here by both players and yeah in the end a nice comeback here by flash quite a chaotic game into the middle of the of, of the time of the of game both players inflicting huge amounts of damage towards each other but yeah as the game continues flash with his tanks in the back getting protected by the marines and let's not forget the science vessel in the air were able to take this game so yeah once again a very interesting game i hope you guys enjoyed this is tommy signing out